Switching gears once again, strong storms moving through Fayetteville. This video coming into our newsroom from Cheryl Preheim. You know who she is, does the morning show. She says that they're seeing thunder, lightning, pouring rain as well. We've been seeing that across Metro Atlanta, Chris. More of that uh, throughout the evening. We should see these calming down a little bit. We're not going to be able to give the all clear through the evening hours. There still may, may be a chance for a few isolated storms to develop tonight, but these clusters that have been very intense and many of these holding together are moving to the east. And once those move out of here, we'll see fewer showers around tonight. Look at this. This is the main one. This is the one in uh, Walton County right now that moved through Atlanta a little bit earlier, right in time for rush hour that caused uh, a lot of wet roads out there and a very heavy rain that is still not only holding together, but it's also strengthening where we see the lightning count is actually going up. It is right now uh, east of Gwinnett County. It is over Walton County, stretching down into parts of Newton County. The lightning counts going up 194 lightning strikes in the past 15 minutes. That's going to keep moving to the east. Here's another look. We'll take the lightning data off. Very heavy rain from Monroe down to Covington to New Bern. That's going to move into Madison. It'll also be pushing in through parts of Morgan County and into Putnam County around Eatonton. We're having a break in Atlanta right now. Some additional showers, though, developing to the west of us. A little more isolated. Those will keep moving over to the east. And then this storm on the south side here uh, is actually kind of blowing up a little bit more. This is just where that video came from in Fayette County from Cheryl Preheim with that really heavy rain and intense lightning coming through between Tyrone, Fayetteville, Peachtree City area. That's going to move into Clayton County. Be aware of that. Henry County, be aware of that. Extending down also into Spalding County. Things settling down in Pike and Lamar County. It was really intense there earlier. On the north side, not as much going on. Just a couple of isolated showers out there right now. This is our view in Athens, looking toward those storms south of the city. And you can see uh, the dark clouds with that. And then uh, over in the Smyrna area, looking over to the west, one rain shield from one of those isolated showers over on the west side. Take a look at this other time lapse that we have. This is from our tower cam here. Uh, at Midtown looking down on the city. Boom, just look at that as those storms rolled through our area just a little while ago. Those are the ones that impacted uh, the rush hour. Here's a look at our uh, risk for strong storms tonight. We're in that level one of five risk. We really think that once this activity that you see right here now exits and moves over to the east, we will see fewer showers around this evening, maybe an isolated shower or two. Then tonight and even into tomorrow morning, scattered showers around the area, pretty similar to what we had today with often on showers, not just the afternoon variety, but they'll be with us at any time during the day. Rain chance at about 40%. We'll hold on to the 40% chance on Thursday and also Friday. Lower 90s Wednesday and Thursday, upper 80s Friday. Still thinking slightly drier air will move in for the weekend with only a 20% chance for a shower, but high temperatures back into the 90s and then holding in the 90s Monday and Tuesday rain chance inches back up to about 30% on Tuesday afternoon.